Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I'm going to start with this. Pro Ripple Lawyer comments on incoming $5 trillion inflow for risk assets. Retail investors are sitting on cash like never before, with money market funds holding nearly $5.1 trillion. But they're saying that only 20% of that may flow into Bitcoin and digital assets. I believe that number is going to be much higher because I believe a lot of people are still on the fence around crypto. They either don't know how to buy crypto or they don't know which crypto to buy. Plus, you also got to remember, there's a lot of people that cashed out that are still waiting to come back into crypto. They're waiting for the market to start moving. That's why I always said once XRP hits a dollar again, watch all the FOMO money pour in. Or when the case ends, watch all that FOMO money pour in. We'll have to wait and see how this plays out. But I do believe the number is probably going to be closer to 50%. Korea-driven XRP pump makes it top crypto asset by trading volume on Upbit and BitThumb. According to CoinMarketCap, XRP has taken the top spot in terms of trading volume on the South Korea's two major exchanges, Upbit and BitThumb. In the last 24 hours, XRP's combined trading volume on the two platforms totaled nearly $348 million. The figure was achieved in pairs against the South Korean won. As a result, the volume of XRP traded on Upbit exceeds that on Binance the largest cryptocurrency exchange by nearly 100 million tokens. That's why I always said, you know, even if Ripple was to lose against the SEC, XRP is still going to skyrocket in price because the rest of the world is still going to push forward with XRP. But I still believe Ripple is definitely going to win that case, and I cannot wait for that day to come. Former Ripple director is not fond of XRP bank idea. XRP buyback frontman offers to create a bank. Now, this is laughable. So, former director of developer relations at Ripple, Matt Hamilton, commented on the XRP bank concept voiced by Jimmy Bally, author of the XRP buyback proposal. The background is that Bally proposes creating a bank where investors would deposit their XRP and then buy gold against them. As he envisioned it, if all XRP holders agreed that the price of one token was $10,000 and all of them were deposited in the bank, the organization would become one of the wealthiest. In addition to this being hilarious, the idea also looks like a scam, the former director at Ripple said. The price of XRP is determined by the market, not because someone decided to cook the books and approve it at $10,000. Hamilton argues, a prominent member of the XRP community under the nickname Crypto Erie held a similar opinion, stating that this was not a game she wanted to play with her assets. Even Ripple's CTO claims XRP buyback program is a scam. I don't suggest any of you to get involved in this in any way, and I would never, ever sign over my XRP to someone else. Plus, you also got to look at the fact that XRP will always run with the market, no matter what. One thing I don't believe is going to happen, if you hold on to your XRP, right, until it gets to those high prices, I believe by that point, the U.S. dollar is going to be collapsing out. It's going to be way down in value. We will most likely not be valuing our XRP in USD. Who knows what we're going to be actually valuing it in in the future because at some point the u.s dollar is going to collapse all it takes is saudi arabia to go stand on the world stage and say they're no longer going to accept u.s dollars for oil that would be it that would be catastrophic so we're going to have to wait and see how this all plays out but as the u.s dollar falls in value you also got to remember stocks and crypto can easily achieve a blow off top so we'll have to wait and see. But I do believe this buyback was a scam right from day one. I don't like anything about it at all. So this comes from David Schwartz. Here's an example of the kind of thing I should never, ever tweet. And you see here, 589. And on March 28, 2023, that's tomorrow. 
But David does this sometimes, and people in the XRP community, all of a sudden, 589's alive and well once again. Everybody's saying, that's it, it's going to happen on the 28th of March. Wait and see. But we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Ripple CTO trolls Elon Musk for his love of memes. Now, I thought I would share this with all of you because I thought it was pretty good. So David Schwartz, the chief technology officer at Ripple Labs, shared a tweet on Elon Musk with a comment that some of Schwartz's followers interpreted as mocking the innovative tech billionaire. Schwartz posted a picture of a book called Internet Memes for Dummies, a book cover parody from the Internet, as if rebuking Elon Musk for tweeting so many of them over the past few years. Schwartz asked his Twitter followers to read this book as soon as possible. Answering a question from his follower about why he is mocking Elon Musk for memes, the Ripple CTO called himself an equal opportunity mocker. He added that Musk often does things that are extremely mockable. That's what I love about David. You know, the guy has a sense of humor. And any, you know, some people in the Twitter, crypto Twitter space are way too serious. I always had so much respect for David and I will always respect him. Great work and he's a great guy. Fortune article says Ripple and XRP could succeed regardless of SEC case outcome. In a recent newsletter, Fortune Crypto editor Jeff John Roberts asserted that Ripple has finally found a long-term value proposition for the company, and XRP, the native token of the XRP ledger. In the newsletter titled Ripple, an XRP may finally be for real. Roberts revealed that he has always been skeptical of the value proposition of the cryptocurrency until he met Ripple's president Monica Long this week. Notably, the kings of crypto, Coinbase, and the Next Generation Finance author now believes Ripple and XRP have found their niche with Ripple's on-demand liquidity product. Like I've always said from the very first video I think I ever did on XRP, I always said XRP is going to get its value from that ODL. And no matter what kind of alternative they come up with, they could come up to an with an alternative to the messaging part as far, as far as sending cross-border payments. They cannot come up with an alternative to the ODL. That's what it comes down to for me. FedNow Services chooses Cypherium as service provider. Now, this was supposed to be the XRP killer. That's it. It's over for XRP. Cypherium is the new king of crypto. People are totally wrong about this crypto. Let me tell you something. You could go out and invest in Cypherium if you want. To me, this is what it looks like. Something is wrong here. I believe the Fed is going to go live with this, and at some point, it's going to fail. Then all of a sudden, they're going to bring in their actual solution. Whether that's Ripple and XRP or something else, we're going to have to wait and find out. But that's how this country seems to always work. They come up with something. Oh, that failed. And also, you got to look at it like this. If Cypherium fails, that could also be that emergency situation that they need to go live with a full-blown CBDC. We're going to have to wait and see. But to me, Cypherium seems like it's something missing. Like there's something wrong with it. And it was way announced too quick, in my opinion, as well. Swift unveils results of blockchain pilot is XRP involved. So they always talked about XRP being involved with Swift. They even talk about XCP. And that was also supposed to be an alternative to XRP as well. Swift, in my opinion, is going to partner with Ripple somewhere along the way. If not, Ripple is going to continue to steal business away from Swift year over year. That's what I see happening. So can, B some, can Bitcoin or Ethereum beat that? And you see on-demand liquidity, XRP. While the cryptocurrency community may have its doubts over Ripple's XRP cryptocurrency, banks seem to be enjoying its perks. A report at $755 million worth of XRP was transferred in four seconds and cost only one penny. Now that's the problem that the banks see with Ripple, the big banks. And I believe they want to hold on to those fees. Ripple and XRP gets rid of all those bank fees, all those transaction fees. That's why they hate Ripple. That's why I believe they're looking 
for some sort of alternative, some sort of replacement. That's why I still believe Ripple is tied up in this lawsuit with the SEC. But once that lawsuit ends and Ripple wins, that's it. Because there's going to be so many banks and countries going live with that ODL. Did this pro XRP lawyer prediction just come true? Now, I thought this was good as well. So in July, crypto law founder and pro XRP attorney John Deaton predicted that the U.S. SEC would eventually sue a U.S.-based crypto exchange before the end of the year, naming Coinbase and Binance U.S. as potential targets. That was in 2022. It seemed likely that it would happen, as just a day later, the SEC, in a complaint against former Coinbase employee, alleged that nine assets traded on crypto exchange were unregistered securities. In addition, the regulator launched investigations into the publicly traded exchange. However, the year came to an end, and nothing happened. Deaton stuck to his prediction, carrying it over to 2023. It is a prediction that has come true in part with recent SEC enforcement actions against Gemini and Kraken. But now we also see the SEC, they have Coinbase in their crosshairs once again. But I thought I would share that all with you because it looks like Johnny Deaton predicted that pretty good. The inside scoop, former SEC branch chief unveils why the U.S. has jurisdiction in the Do Kwon case. Now, in my opinion, I don't care how they try to twist this. I still feel the SEC is overreaching here. Their authority ends at the U.S. border, but now they're trying to use it overseas once again, over in Singapore. Hopefully, Gary gets shut down on that front, even though I don't like Do Kwon in any way, and then what he did is absolutely terrible for all of crypto i don't like the sec overreach because if they do it once they're going to continue to do it again and again investor alert if you come across an investment program that promises high returns with little or no risk it is likely a fraud that comes from gary gensler Johnny Deaton said this, Investor alert, if you come across an incumbent protecting career bureaucrat posing as a regulator promising to protect you, he is likely a fraud. I thought that was great. And again, Gary Gensler is not protecting me or you in any way. If anything, he's hurting us as time goes on. How many of these clowns do we have to expose? Ripple is a scam and Chris Larson is anti-human, Bitcoin Maxi and Swancom CEO says. So Corey Clipston, a prominent Bitcoin maximalist and chief executive officer of Bitcoin education platform Swancom has launched a verbal assault against Ripple and its executive chairman Chris Larson. In a tweet yesterday, Clipston slammed the blockchain payments company as a scam while describing its executive chairman as anti-human. The swan.com CEO also links the Twitter to an earlier video where he claims that XRP is an unregistered security and a pump and dump scheme. You know what I see here? Bitcoin maxis are scared. They're scared that Bitcoin is going to be left behind. It's going to become irrelevant in the future. They know XRP is the future. They know the technology is absolutely incredible. And nothing out there competes with XRP on demand liquidity. And I believe these Bitcoin maxis are just trying to grasp for anything to say at this point. You know... I feel at some point in the future, probably within the next year or two, I feel all the value is going to leave Bitcoin and flow into these utility-driven cryptos. And it's just a matter of time. That's why I always said, you know, if anything, when you see people talking about Bitcoin in this private island where Bitcoin is the only currency, that only does one thing. It gets new investors, new retail investors coming into crypto. All of a sudden, they start believing this. Then they start investing in Bitcoin. What are you possibly going to get from it? Maybe a 6 to 10x possibly? When you could easily come into these utility-driven cryptos and get generational wealth at some point. Passive income. That's why XRP will always be the greatest crypto of all time, in my opinion. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. 
We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.